So the loyal subjects reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to take a look at this Avatar The Last Airbender 4-pack. And I said, yes, absolutely. Funny enough, I had actually never seen it before, so I thought it was like some new special thing that was coming out. And I didn't, you know, I was getting like a first look at it. But uh, nah, it's been out. It's it's like on Walmart and everything. Uh, <laughs> but it's a really cool presentation. Uh, it represents all four elements. So, you know, water, earth, fire, and air. And, you know, naturally, you can kind of guess what characters you're going to get from that. Love this box. Honestly, I don't want to open it. <laughs> Especially, you know, once you see me open the flap. But I will open it since it is a video and I, I need to show you what you get. But you can see on the back here, we'll get Zuko, Aang, Katara, and Toph. Very excited about Toph since I do not have the standard best action Toph. Uh, there's a bit of a read-up right there. Uh, which is kind of cool, giving you a bit of a, a background on everything. 31 points of articulation, incredible sculpt details. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. So I do already have the standard release of Aang, Zuko, and Katara. And I'm not, I don't have them here to like compare. I did do videos on those though, if you want to watch that. So the main thing with this set is that they've got some new accessories, they've got some new heads, and uh, it's just a nice way to get four of the main characters. Very exciting. Like, looking at this, this presentation is so cool. And look at that! Oh my gosh! You get the map. That's so cool. Oh. And it's so nicely printed, too. You get, like, this gloss texture to it. Man, I'm, I'm keeping this box, for sure. And I think, after this, I'm not going to take out all the accessories. I am not. Because I think I'm going to keep them in this box on display. Because this is just such a beautiful display. Love, love, love it. Even though Toph, like, I don't have the standard Toph, so we'll see what I do with her. But that's just, uh, it's so nice. Like, just look at this. Here, let me pick up the camera so you can kind of get a closer look. So, Zuko, he's looking great. Really loved the loose version of that Zuko. One of my favorite Zuko figures. One of his new accessories, he's got, like, this fire effect. Then Aang, he's got a couple new heads, and he's got a, a new air effect. Tons of alternate hands with these. Uh, Katara, uh, she's got at least one new head. At least, I think, one new head. Uh, but uh, we do have to talk about the head. Uh, the best action thing right there. Alternate hands. She's got a little water effect. And then Toph's got this super cool earth effect. Uh, her belt that she won and two really cool heads. So, yeah, cool looking set. Let's, let's get it open. Like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to. But we have to. So you guys know what you're getting if you decide to get this set. So let's close that up. And then there's some tape on the bottom. We shall open up. Yeah, I definitely, you know, I got to open it. But I think I'm going to keep them in this box. I'll, I'll just display them in the box. Okay, let me just do this off camera. Okay, so I've got it out of the box. I do want to point out you get this. Uh, it's like uh, four trading cards, it seems like. That's really cool. Uh, let's open this up. So I don't really think I need to, you know... Oh, I need to make sure I keep the cards all together. So let's see what we got. We got Toph. And you get a picture of the character and the figure. And you get a read-up. So here's Toph's card. Pretty high-quality cards, too. Zuko. Looking nice. Different version of Aang from the figure we get. But still. You know, nice little read-up there. And then Katara. And, yeah, pretty cool. I do think I'll keep this with the box, though. So we'll slot that back in, put that tape back on, and there's that. All right, I'm not going to take out all the alternate hands and show you everything you get with these, since I did already review all of them but off. Uh, that will be the, like, the pinned video. You can check that out. Uh, I will kind of go over the base figures again. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to try not to, like, have this pop too violently because all those hands are going to go flying. Because I do not want those hands to come out of this. All right. Almost there. One last corner. One last corner. There we go. I always love seeing these uh, big old plastic trays. Hasbro's, like, rolling around right now screaming, Plastic! No! We don't want plastic in the toy packaging! Okay, here's Zuko. Here's Zuko. He's got his new head right there. 
That's really nice. That's a nice head. He's screaming. He's mad. As a pose. Pose pretty much as good as my other one. Feels nice. Feels good. Yeah, I really like that. That's really good. I think I did that whole video talking about what Avatar figures to collect. And uh, like I said, I think the best ones on the market right now are Best Action and the McFarlane 5-inch ones uh, for like having a, co a complete comprehensive collection. Let's get this head out. I think maybe they have like one new head each. Because this head looks kind of familiar. I, I can't really recall, you know, if both of these heads on each of the figures are new. But just know there are new heads. You know, you can watch my old video talking about these and you can see for yourself, you know, what heads are new and which heads aren't. But still, we got a couple nice options here. I do want to see how easy these are to pop and swap, though, because I did have my issue with the main releases. And it seems like we're going to have a similar issue, or it seems like the ball, the, the socket is really big. And this one, yeah, that's going to need a lot of heat. That doesn't even want to at all. So keep that in mind. You're going to have to heat up the alternate heads to get them on. Uh, that is, you know, definitely an issue I had with the main releases and definitely something that's still prevalent here. Uh, I did already talk about the swords and the scabbard on the standard release. Those are still really nice accessories and he's got the same alternate hands. But I do want to show off this fire effect because this seems pretty new and also pretty cool. Kind of rigid plastic, so be a little careful. Don't, you know, break it. Oh, wow. Wow, that slots in real good. Yeah, because it is rigid plastic, that is, oh, wow. That's probably one of the best fire effects I've seen. Wow, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, that's solid. That is solid. <laughs> I'm going to say it. If you guys are interested in these figures, get this four pack. Uh, like the single releases are nice. And, you know, you still get some pretty good options. But this four pack seems borderline definitive. So here's Aang. I did notice Aang's skin tone on his head is slightly different from the body. Is that because the head is painted? Let's see. Oh, that's a lot of creak. Hmm. Here, let me look. So yeah, the head is definitely painted. I can't tell what the original plastic color is, but that's definitely a painted head. I do want to bring in this head too, so you can see. Oh wow, that's a really great expression. This is a new head for sure. That is definitely a new head. And that is really well done. Wow, that is good. Let's see the ball size. Oh, this might actually work. This might. Yeah, this one's actually going to work, but I don't want to do it all the way. Just because it's going to be a little difficult to pull it off. But yeah, that's a really good head for Aang right there. I'm loving that head. Let's get the standard head back on. Because again, pretty pretty solid. I did have my issue with the standard release of this one. I believe it was the, uh, the hips. Was it the hips on mine? It was something. But this, this seems solid. You know, it's moving around good, posing good. I love the paint on the arms. How it kind of wraps all the way around. That looks good. Yeah, was it the hips on this? Yeah, it was the hips because they kind of, you know, the sculpt kind of prevents it from moving forward all the way. But still, this is a nice version of Book 3 Aang. It's pretty solid because I don't think McFarlane's done this yet. So if you're looking for a Book 3 Aang in your collection, this is a very solid option. Yeah, Loyal Subjects are doing some pretty good stuff. Uh, the best action series, uh, you know, I've got like a Foot Soldier and Shredder and I've got some, you know, plenty of the Avatar ones. I still need to get Jet. Uh, Jet's one I haven't gotten yet. Um, but yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. Is this like one that would like, is this more of like a hat? <laughs> oh, no, it kind of works as a hat. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent like wind effect. I'm seeing, I'm kind of struggling to see how it like integrates with the figure though. I'm assuming you'd like put in a fist hand and like put it in his hand. It looks good. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm going to assume that's how that one's going to work. Yeah, that's a really nice effect. Would it work with his feet too? I mean, kind of. Yeah, I can like have him kick with it. Yeah, that's good. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to. So there's Aang. Pretty similar to the standard release, but again, I feel like the head options and everything, this is a very good definitive option for Aang. And then let's take a look at Katara. I do have an issue with Katara right out the gate. Uh, the base figure, uh, this is definitely a new head, I can tell you, and that head is a lot nicer than the standard pack version. That's a really nice head. I think the skin tone looks a lot better. Yeah, because this Katara, I think, is the best Katara figure on the market right now. 
This one's really good. As you can see, they gave her a nice cut in the skirt. I think she still might have a similar issue with the legs where they don't want to move forward too much. But given the skirting, you know, you're not going to... She's not going to be doing Spider-Man poses anyway. But yeah, you know, pretty solid. But I do have an issue with this alternate head. This is my issue. Because I noticed this right when I opened it up. Uh, they forgot to paint her eyebrows. <laughs> she just... They're sculpted on. You can see the eyebrows are sculpted on. They just forgot to paint them. Uh, other than that, very nice head. You know, looks a lot like Angry Katara. She's definitely not super happy in this box set. So far, uh, the only one that's happy is uh, Aang. But looking at Toph, I think she's going to be pretty happy too. Yeah, you know, definitely. Let's let's see the heads here. If this is having the head issue. Oop! I forgot the other one had this uh, happen. Where it pops apart at the waist. <laughs> I had this happen to my standard one. It's a pretty solid way to build it. You know, clips in nice. But yeah, just keep that in mind. You might accidentally pop her apart. Oop, there goes her necklace. That's in there somewhere. But yeah, oh yeah, that's a, again, similar issue with the ball. That's not going to fit too well. So let's put that back. She does have this, as the standard ones do. Where's her necklace? There it is. The necklace went into Toph's accessory. That's nice they included the necklace as a separate accessory. Because, you know, she didn't always have it in the show. So, for certain poses and things, you might want to remove it. All right. Yeah, that's that's very good. Very good. What's her accessory? This is like a water ball, I guess. She's got a water ball. Uh, I don't really see a clear way to integrate it with the figure. You know, maybe sticking her fingers in there, moving the hinge. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Wow, that works really good. Yeah, it's a nice little water ball accessory. And one nice thing about the accessories, too, I'm actually curious. Here, let's put Katara back. We're pretty much good with her. Since he is the Avatar, you know, he can do all these elements, so I'm going to assume. But yeah, yeah, you can give him all the accessories. <laughs> that's nice. You know, he's the Avatar. He can do them all. So that's cool. And then last and definitely not least, uh, one of my favorite characters from the entire show, Toph. And I do want to address uh, the scale issue. Uh, this line, very solid figures, but the scaling between the figures is not that good. It's like, yeah, that's that's not really accurate. It should be something more like that, I'd say. But no, it's, <laughs> yeah, a little off, a little off. But this is my first time messing with Toph from Loyal Subjects, because I love Toph. And I'm kind of surprised I put off getting the mainline release of Toph for so long. I'll probably still get it, though, since I want to keep this box this box set sealed. Uh, but yeah, that's nice. How's her hips? They can move forward decently, but they are kind of stopping at a point. So one recommendation I would say to loyal subjects is to uh, refine the hip range a little bit more. The knees? Hmm. You know, she's got these big, thick pants. You know, you can kind of bend the knee, but it's not giving you too much. The feet work really nice. I mean, the feet are very important for, you know, a character like Toph. It's literally how she sees. So, yeah, you can, you can get her in some pretty interesting dynamic poses. I like this face a lot. She looks like such an asshole. <laughs> I mean, that's the character, isn't it? Yeah, this is a pretty solid figure. I like the feel of it a lot. Yeah, it's nice. She does have her belt, the championship belt, and that looks pretty good. Nicely painted. I dig it. Happy to have this back in my collection since I, uh, I'm getting rid of my Diamond Select one, and that came with the belt. And this rock effect. Whoa! Whoa, look at that! Okay, this is definitely the best rock effect I've seen. <laughs> For sure. So, let's get her rotated a little bit. Let's... Oh, is that like... Is that yellow supposed to be there? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be there. I'm just losing my mind. But yeah. Look at that. Boom. She's stomping. That looks cool. That is such an amazing effect. I'm digging that. We haven't even looked at the alternate head, though. So the alternate head, and this one probably will have a similar issue where you're going to have to like heat it up to get it on. Let's pop this off. And I have not reviewed the standard Toph, so keep that in mind. Oh, there we go. So, let's look at the ball size. And yeah, again, too small on the alternate, so it's going to need to heat it up. 
The heads are fairly similar with the expression, though. It's like she's just gritting her teeth with this, and she's laughing with this. She definitely, you know, looking at those eyebrows and everything, she is she is in full-on, you know, asshole, I don't care, I'm just going to show that I'm the best Earthbender in the world. <laughs> she's in that mode right now. Ugh. See, look, even on the head with the bigger ball, it's hard to get that back on. So you're going to need a lot of heat to get those alternate heads on. And she comes with alternate hands, too. And I'll just show this kind of quick. Open, kind of more relaxed, and she's got the fists right now. So, yeah, there we go. Here's my look, courtesy of Loyal Subjects. Thank you very much at this Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, like, Elemental 4-pack. I definitely recommend this. Uh, if you're an Avatar fan, yeah, these are solid, solid figures. Really enjoy them. They're really fun. And they're great. Uh, my biggest issue is that scaling between them. That's definitely the biggest issue in this whole line. However, you know, this box set, especially in that box, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I really recommend this. Uh, I was looking online. It looks like it retails. I've seen it between like $40 to $60. I would say, you know, given how these things retail for nearly $20 each, if not $20 each, depending on where you're buying them from, it's a pretty fair price. That's a pretty fair price for four of these figures. You know, I would say, especially on the lower end, like around 40 to 50, definitely like 10 bucks each for these. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah, man. Great set. Great set. Really happy with it. Uh, definitely going to enjoy having this on display for years to come in this box. Cause I'm typically not the kind of guy to keep things in the box, but that box is just too gorgeous. And the display of opening them and you just get all four of the elements, especially since we got Toph represented here, since she's one of my favorite characters from the show. It's, it's great. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Loyal Subjects, for sending this my way. Really enjoyed it. If you want to send me anything else, Loyal Subjects, you know, I'm like I said, I don't have the normal Toff or Jet yet. You could send those. To, I'm, just, I'm just messing around. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special shout out to channel members as well. Thank you all so much for the continued support. There we go, guys. Have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.